guys, Kenzie Knox, and welcome to my YouTube page. Today, I'll be painting Joni Young's How to Paint a Peacock Step by Step in Acrylic. So let's just get started. So I'm working on a 9 by 11 um, size media paper, and she was, is working on a 2 by 2 foot canvas. Um, you can work on a square canvas or a rectangular canvas, it doesn't really matter. She recommends a square canvas, but I don't have one, so here we are. Um, I also double prime my canvas in black. As for our palette colors, we'll need titanium white, neon green, and thalo blue. I don't have neon green, so I'm going to have to substitute that color for, let's see, um, I have this apple tart color, so this will be my substitute for neon green. So I'm going to add that to my palette. And we're going to start with a large angular brush. So this is size 12 angular brush. And so I'm going to dip my brush in water and tap off all the drips. Oh, and here's my palette right now. And these are the three colors we'll be using. So picking up some green and some white, we're just going to pull out some sun rays with our brush. So grab a little water and that can help move the paint and also make it a little more transparent and the look that we're going for. So I'm starting just up in the left corner and dragging those sun rays down diagonally to the bottom right corner. Just a few lines will do. So to get started, we're gonna put down some um, palm leaves. And so we're just gonna start with an arch right here with our large angular brush and then just draw in some palm leaves with the green, the blue, the white. We're mixing all these colors together to come and make this beautiful color on our canvas. So don't be too concerned about the colors that you're picking up. I think I'm using more of a white and blue for this palm leaf, but all the palm leaves will be just a variation of colors. And now I'm gonna start another palm leaf coming down and with the same colors, essentially. And so these palm leaves will all come in all different directions. Just creating some sort of background. And here's another palm leaf coming in another direction. So now taking our thalo blue and white, we're gonna start creating some waterfalls. And so we're just gonna pull and fall right around here. And taking some white, we're just gonna top our waterfall with that paint color, and then come over it with some green too. Just highlighting it. And now taking some blue, we're just gonna add some water below the waterfalls to show where the water is collecting. Taking some neon green, we're going to add another palm leaf right here. And then we're going to add another one right along here. Now we're going to start on our peacock. So come over to about three quarters to the right of the canvas. And we're going to create an egg-shaped head almost with the tip of our angular brush. And then come down with the neck and sort of create a number two, essentially. Um, I don't know if you can see the number two in the, the peacock or not, but that is um, something that I use that Joni Young suggested to do. So I'm just facing up the head, creating a little bit of a beak that I will touch up in a little bit because <laughs> the beak needs some touching up. But I'm just creating the back feathers as well. Real quick, a few feathers. To paint the body and the head and the neck and whatnot, I'm just picking up white with my dirty brush that I have not washed off. So um, the main body is going to be lighter. And then now I'm slowly adding in some blue peacock feathers. So I'm taking up some phthalo blue 
um, with my dirty brush you can see it comes out to a lighter blue shade um, but we'll be creating darker feathers as we go as well and some green feathers in there too. I'm now switching over to my half inch angular brush because my 12, my number 12 angular brush was just too large for this size canvas. And so I'm coming in with some dark phthalo blue now. You can see it's much darker blue. And this brush is a much better size for this size canvas, I found, very quickly. For feathers, I also found that you're just creating this U-shaped or oval shape very quickly. Um, I believe she starts using a rake brush at this point, but I don't have one, so this brush will do. So now I'm just adding in another palm leaf right here with a neon green color. And picking up some white, I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight to this palm leaf. I'm also going to add another palm leaf right over here, real quick. my quarter inch angular brush and fill in some more details on the feathers including green the blues and the whites just mixing them all in there and now to work on the beak I'm just gonna add the phthalo blue to the beak and create um, like a triangle sort of shape if you can and don't worry if you mess up because you can always fix it with black because you're working on a black prime canvas a 
Okay, I'm back using my quarter inch angular brush. I'm gonna add in some more details to the feathers, making sure that we're layering consistently because on a black prime canvas, the color tends to not be as bright as you think it would be. So you have to create multiple layers. Okay, and let's just add in another palm leaf right here. And using our neon green color, we'll create another palm leaf right here. And using a mixture of white and neon green, we're going to create another palm leaf right over here. And another one right over here. In order to make sure our palm leaves stick out and we can see them, I'm just going to go over some of the palm leaves we already made with some of the colors that we have on our palette. Okay, so using the same brush, I'm now going to go back over to the feathers and fix up anything that I think needs fixing up, including adding the eye of each feather with the neon green color.
color and sun rays um, all throughout our foliage and to show off our peacock feathers too I bring sun rays all the way down to the, the feathers just to show focus on them because they're beautiful and they should stand out. And once we're done those rays, I'm just going to add in another um, palm leaf right here. To make the waterfall stand out more, I'm adding some phthalo blue over that neon green color to make it look more water, like water-like, and adding white on top of that as well. And this will help it look more like rushing water. And again, creating layers over the black canvas so that it'll stand out on its own. And I believe we are done. So I hope you've enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. And um, remember to like my video below and to subscribe to my channel too. So until next time, I guess I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.